Hello, this is the World University in School monthly business meeting on October 19th, 2024, Saturday at 12 noon Eastern time, 9 a.m. Pacific time. I think it's 9.30 p.m. India time. Please join from your time zone by checking your time converter. I'm holding up the URL and uh, an image for World University in School on a card right now, which uh, video recording I'll post to the current active World University in School YouTube channel, uh, Scott McLeod World University, youtube.com forward slash uh, Scott McLeod World University. Uh, as we wait to see if people will join us in this open WUAS monthly business meeting, uh, I'd like to start with a brief moment of silence in this uh, friendly informed Quaker, unprogrammed Quaker informed uh, MIT Open Courseware centric Wiki World University and School monthly business meeting for the first time, I think. So a brief moment of silence. And I welcome you to join in the silence as well. Uh, if you might be watching this uh, at some point later. And I'd also like to uh, remember the Stanford professor, Phil Zimbardo, who I just read passed away today at age 91. And he was his seminal social psychology experiment, the Stanford prisoner and guard experiment, which focused on the social determinants of behavior giving uh, 20-year-olds prisoners and guards roles and uniforms uh, at Stanford and uh, observing in this um, remarkable social psychology of ex experiment, a controversial experiment as well, uh, just how quickly um, these 20-year-olds with new roles, uh, socially determined roles, prisoners and guards, turned um, in a way, uh, as I understand it, um, aggressive or um, uh, into a prisoner, into a guard role, um, possibly uh, uh, police-like, uh, wrongfully, and prisoner roles as victims uh, within a couple of hours, and uh, also further to help contribute to the now very large academic discipline of social psychology with this remarkable study. So farewell, Phil Zimbardo. I'm also reminded uh, of uh, regarding World University and Schools focus on extreme longevity, uh, genetics, and aging reversal genetics, uh, which may, um, with George Church's uh, heralding of these upcoming genetic drug therapies, and potentially FDA approved with beginning trials in 2020, in 2030 or something, Human trials can take a long time, uh, sometimes 10 years. Um, I'm reminded of, uh, with Phil Zimbardo's passing, of um, that people are dying and that these drugs may prevent that, um, and that getting them available um, with alacrity has much merit. And uh, wondering what one can do on the natural side in um, the meantime, before such pharmaceuticals, pharmaceutical genetic drug therapies might become available. 
Um, and the only proven uh, way to extend life, as I understand it, is through calorie restriction with good nutrition. Uh, and that this can uh, extend lifespan across species. It's been shown in many, many different species by 10 to 15%. So if species uh, calories are restricted um, as they age uh, with good nutrition, they can live longer than the mean, longer maybe than the um, outer limit of a species lifespan by 10 or 15%. Uh, this is remarkable proven um, evidence or uh, these are remarkable um, opportunities as we wait potentially for genetic drug therapies to emerge. Um, so I'm hopeful for the people, family members in my life, that they can uh, live to many, many years, possibly long beyond 122 years of age, the upper documented known limit of life, um, and potentially with genetic drug therapies for aging reversal and even uh, an extreme longevity and even uh, possibly imagine living as a 25-year-old in a 150-year-old body um, and potentially so that um, my family members who are uh, nearing their 90s, for example, could live um, to the time when such genetic ther drug therapies could emerge. So could um, such genetic drug therapy, could, could such uh, calorie restriction with good nutrition help here? Uh, so to move to the agenda uh, for World University in School, uh, since uh, no one appears to have joined us yet, although people might join in the middle of monthly business meeting, here loosely conducted in the manner of Quakers. The first item, agenda item one, on the World University and School WUS side, the first of two WUS wings, the cc4ocw.mit.edu-centric wiki, World University and School, which is a 501c3 tax-exempt nonprofit public charity in the US, uh, is just that, that um, CC4 MIT Open, this is agenda item zero actually, CC4 agenda, MIT Open Courseware Centric Wiki World University and School, WUS, is a nonprofit tax exempt uh, legal entity in the uh, USA. And the GuideStar um, tax exempt number and information is posted in today's agenda uh, or in yesterday's agenda and news for WS monthly business meeting. And in particular is uh, in need potentially of a world university and school nonprofit board, board of trustees, board of directors, um, and see the World University Foundation wiki subject page presently for who are the uh, named uh, folks in such a role who have been, who haven't been active in maybe 10 years, um, but uh, valuable potentially to have such names on uh, World University and Schools Board and for having become uh, a nonprofit in the first place. Um, and see also the first and second tax legal entities, their, um, how to find out their tax numbers at the bottom of worlduniversityandschool.org's page uh, regarding World University and School being a nonprofit tax exempt uh, 501c3 or similar 5091a or something like that. So people can make tax deductible donations, contributions to our nonprofit wing. And zero A, agenda item zero A, see also WUAS's second of two WUAS wings below with its WUAS Corporation's 
third legal state of California tax ID number at the bottom two of worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash academic press dot html. So these are our, uh, this is our nonprofit wing and we're a nonprofit um, and we're planned in 200 countries and we're planned for speakers of 7,164 known living languages. Uh, and we're building out of MIT OpenCourseWare resources, which are Creative Commons for licensed and in uh, potentially with the Creative Commons for licensing, allowing for one sharing, two adapting, uh, so we can potentially add such resources to artificial intelligences uh, and create something new uh, with MIT OpenCourseWare, but non-commercially, but three non-commercially. So our WS online degrees from home will be free and potentially in 200 countries and for speakers of their main languages with time. Agenda item one. Let me just check to see if people are possibly seeking to join us. Not yet. Um, let's see. Agenda item one. Uh, MIT OpenCourseWare centric wiki, Mexico Law School at World University and School, uh, Stanford Law Codex meeting on Thursday. 10, 17, 2024, and regarding the Mexican Supreme Court and also Mexico, Mexico World University and School, uh, planned in Spanish as well, and a new uh, artificial intelligence app from the Mexican Supreme Court called Sor Juana. Uh, so, Thanks much to Roland Vogel, the director of Stanford Law Codex, and Roberto Pena, uh, who's the technical operator uh, with the Mexican Supreme Court. Uh, and a brief note in these regards, explaining this agenda item one further. Thanks for, Roberto, your excellent presentation about Sor Juana artificial intelligence platform developed by Mexico's Supreme Court to revolutionize public access to ju judicial information. It allows users to interact with court rulings for by providing clear, concise explanations of complex legal decisions in everyday language. On Thursday, 10-17, uh, in the Stanford Law Codex talk, and there's a Twitter uh, post about this. And greetings from MIT OpenCourseWare Centric Wiki World University and School, seeking to offer online in Spanish free WUAS degrees in students' homes. Bachelor, PhD, Law, MD, IB, High School or similar, AA, AS, and Master's degrees from uh, or in Mexico WUAS, wiki.worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash wiki forward slash Mexico planned in Spanish and in the Spanish language, wiki.worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash wiki forward slash Spanish underscore language, Spanish with a capital S, also planned in Spanish. So here's the question I asked in the text chat toward the end of your presentation. Roberto and Megan, Megan Ma, excellent. How might MIT OCW-centric wiki, World University and School, explore building out Sor Juana or similar uh, with the URL for Sor Juana uh, from Streamlit and uh, available through from the Mexico Supreme Court, um, a particular Supreme Court justice there uh, named Ana Margarita um, Rios Farhat, beyond possibly in the WS Mexico Law School at World University and School. Uh, so, and a URL for the Mexico Law School at WUS, planned in Spanish. So possibly how to build out Sor Juana, perhaps, uh, in all 200 countries, WUS law schools, 
And regarding the nine beginning country WS law schools here in the World University Law School and in their main languages, especially. Thanks, Scott. Um, and please see the PS for the beginning of the nine of 200 countries law schools at WUS. And again, uh, from just before you, Roberto, began your presentation in text chat, by way of World University and Schools Law News, in a way, MIT OCW-centric wiki World University and Schools 250 plus planned online law schools with AI, artificial intelligence, are planning or seeking to build resources and teaching about and information technologies, legal tech, regarding Supreme Court's coming online and regarding your presentation, Roberto Peña, and Mexico Law School at World University and School. See to this Stanford Law Codex presentation regarding the Iowa Supreme Court and Machine Learning Prediction Plus at Iowa Law School at WUAS. So that's wiki.worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash wiki forward slash Iowa underscore law underscore school underscore at underscore WUS, but accessible from the World University Law School wiki school. Uh, and that uh, Iowa Supreme Court uh, project is called E-Legals. Uh, so these are the questions that um, World University and School is interested in exploring regarding reaching out uh, potentially uh, also to the Mexico Supreme Court, Roberto Peña, and including him in uh, World university and school monthly business meetings, emailings, and Megan Ma as well, the assistant director, I think, of Stanford Law Codex. Um, and I tweeted about this. I blog post about the, posted about this in Thursday, 10th, 17th, 24, blog post, Lycasta Virginalis, scott-mcleod.blogspot.com for further information. Uh, so, Fascinating that um, World University and School could make this connection with uh, Roberto Peña, uh, the technical operator at the Supreme Court of Mexico, the Supreme Court of Justice of the Nation, and uh, regarding Sor Juana, uh, an advanced artificial intelligence AI designed to revolutionize access to and understanding of judicial processes in Mexico. And in these regards, um, as a PPS, uh, and regarding the other presenters in the Stanford Law Codex on Thursday, 10, 17, 2024, uh, Sean West and Stephen Heidelkamp, I think, um, I found this Harvard Business Review article online by the other presenters whose emails and LinkedIn addresses disappeared from the draft email I was putting together to send to Roberto and Roland and Stanford Law Codex, but which mentions, uh, which article mentions cryptocurrency in particular and um, regarding um, the other presenters uh, focus on their HENCE platform, H-E-N-C-E, -E, AI platform, and with a focus also on analyzing geopolitical risks. So I found this H Harvard Business Review article by written by these two other uh, presenters in Stanford Law Codex on 1017, and especially regarding WUS seeking to code for all 7.9 billion people on the planet from uh, wiki.worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash wiki forward slash you at World University, each a Wikidata pin number in all 200 countries and regarding uh, geopolitical risks and developments too. And in order to both to create WUS wiki free universal education and people to people editable wiki schools like Wikipedia in 300, more than 300 languages. 
for speakers of all 7,164 living languages, where Mexico has around 290 living languages, and to end poverty in Mexico with UBI, Universal Basic Income Experiments, or similar, with Stanford MindPi Cryptocurrency, Free Money Daily, mindpi.com forward slash SGKMAC. You can begin to get MindPi for yourself, uh, clicking two buttons every 24 hours, taking less than five seconds. And in WUAS, growing a worldwide abolition movement to protect people and to abolish the wrongful buying and selling of people in the illegal sex, drugs, violence, etc., industries internationally and their latent networks of violence. So to abolish organized crime internationally to the extent that that's possible. And with law, law enforcement, artificial intelligence and machine learning, tracing and the electronic records, potentially electronic health records, avatar agent electronic health records, and potentially for all 7.9 billion people as well. So the article uh, by Stephen Heitkamp and Sean West in the Harvard Business Review from 2024 in October uh, is titled, Gen AI Makes Legal Action Cheap and Companies Need to Prepare. So, uh, this is the, um, in, in all of these regards, uh, regarding the Stanford Law Codex, um, these presentations on October 17th, 2024, I also created a set of Twitter announcements, including Robin Phillips uh, at Robin Risa, um who is a friend of mine from Reed College from around 1979, 1980, who now works in the federal government uh, and went to law school at Willamette University after Reed College and is the executive director of RTAP, a transportation agency, I think, in the US federal government and who has worked also in the uh, Department of Justice in the U.S. federal government. Uh, so, by uh, um, glad that uh, Robin. So the tweet reads: um, Robin Phillips at Robin Riesa. All any interest today at 4:30 p.m. ET in the Stanford Law Codex presentation by Mexico's Supreme Court to revolutionize, revolutionize public access to. Judicial Information in Everyday Language. And there's the law.stanford.edu webpage announcing this. And regarding to hashtag Mexico Law WUAS. And the um, Mexico Law School at WUS uh, Wiki School. Uh, and retweeting the Stanford Law Codex announcement for this. So what's interesting about this for World University in School 2 regarding Robin Phillips uh, is that she uh, RSVP'd, respondez s'il vous plaît, um, to a proposed Reedy book group uh, in, 2020, in late 2024 or early 2025 in Canyon, California, Canyon 94516. And uh, coming, she will be coming from Fresno from a farm workers meeting. And in these regards, uh, and since she works in the US federal government, um, this is fascinating as World University and School seeks to move forward the WUS Academic Medical Center with WUS Longevity Genetics Institute into a newly safe. Uh, 670 Ridgecrest Road, Calif Canyon, California, 94516 in the SF Bay Area from November 30th, 2024. And uh, this uh, set of developments is still in limbo. And it being October 
19th, 2024, and my seeking to depart Western Pennsylvania in my second asylum house here um, on Callow Hill Street by November 30th, 2024, and potentially uh, move WUS forward into uh, Canyon, California, 94516 again. Our WUS PO box has been in Canyon, California for uh, probably 15 years now. Um, but the US federal mails aren't successfully forwarding those mails from the WS PO box 442, Canyon, California, 94516 to my asylum place in Western Pennsylvania. Um, I'm hoping to move back in and uh, that Robin can come to a proposed Reedy Reed College book group on December 14th, 2024. Uh, and uh, perhaps that uh, I and World University and School will be able to move into an open place and uh, with eventual ownership uh, and title. And with these regards, um, and Roberto Peño's uh, fascinating presentation from the Mexican Supreme Court and a new and regarding a new artificial intelligence app, um, World University and School would grow our WUS uh, Mexico World University and School in Spanish, then further and the, especially the law school, the Mexico Law School at WUS out of California with uh, many, many more uh, Spanish speakers than in Pennsylvania, for example, and potentially with more proximity to, to uh, Mexico from California, from Northern California uh, than from Western Pennsylvania. So thanks so, so much. Uh, Roland Vogel, especially, uh, too, for uh, arranging these uh, two presentations at Stanford Law Codex on 10-17-2024. Um, so agenda item two. Um, I'm going to seek to move further or faster through these agenda items. Um, so this is a brainstorming regarding uh, research libraries and brand new um, developments potentially in world-class research libraries, thanks to uh, information technologies. Uh, in what ways are the world's hashtag Gemini AIs, conversational generative artificial intelligence, Hashtag Gemini AI auf Deutsch, growing from fast new hashtag research libraries as hashtag data sets. And potentially in each of all 200 countries, main languages and in their main languages to create new kinds of hashtag world-class research libraries with hashtag national libraries and university libraries. How can uh, library resources, a wiki subject at World University and School help? Agenda item three, uh, recent open WS news and question and answers for October and September, 2024. Uh, check them out. There are four related blog posts, four related video recordings from Monday, October 14th, 2024, uh, beginning Wenatchee National Forest, Washington, 10, 14, 24, recording of World University and School WS Press, WS News and Question and Answer, hashtag Harvard GSE, hashtag family engagement, hashtag community engagement, and uh, from Monday, October 7th, 2024, beginning Beaverhead, Deer Lodge, National Forest, Wilderness Area, 
uh, which include the hashtags teacher on and hashtag grow with Google and hashtag WUAS collaborations. And from Monday, September 30th, 2024, beginning red panda and hashtag, or sorry, and from Monday, September 23rd, 2024, the beginning magnolia, macrophylla, uh, the free degrees WUAS offers. Uh, um, and I think, is it that one where a Gemini AI makes a unanticipated contribution to the WS News in question and answer? Hashtag, uh, uh, Gemini AI starts talking in the middle of uh, a recent WS News in question and answer quite remarkably after I said uh, the, the magic words, the prompts to get uh, Gemini AI on my smartphone working, um, but wasn't anticipating to hear um, a great new set of ideas. But this Monday, 20, September 23rd, 2024, Magnolia Macrophilia is also um, titled Planning for Bangladesh in Bangla language, especially World University and Schools Free Online, MIT Open Courseware Centric WS Degrees, hashtag free WUS Degrees. So agenda item four, this is also relating to um, WS genetics and um, de extinction of various species. Um, coming into conversation with Harvard and MIT professor of genetics George Church's uh, project to de extinct the woolly mammoth. So, a set of tweets in these regards de hashtag de extinct hashtag Woolly Mammoth virtually too at George Church at Geo Church from 4,000 years ago and species as well. And in a new hashtag WUAS multimedia barn in hashtag Canyon 94516 with hashtag avatar agent electronic health records for hashtag biobanking of many existing species and code for also hashtag extreme longevity, hashtag aging reversal in one hashtag realistic virtual earth, hashtag G street view with hashtag time slider. Uh, can we create a aging reversal machine? That's a hashtag also in the WS multimedia barn in Canyon. 94516. And this also includes the article um, from Life Science uh, about uh, Colossal. This is the title Colossal Biosciences launches a $50 million foundation to uh, halt the extinction crisis. Whoever said you can't save a few species? on the way to de-extincting a mammoth. And in some of these regards, I'm wondering whether de-extinction of species uh, further will lead to uh, our ability, scientists' ability, to de-extinct even individuals uh, in new ways, perhaps with the MIT researcher, scientific researcher, Kevin Esfeldt's sculpting evolution, maybe long, well into the future, 200 years from now. Um, I know the project to de-extinct the woolly mammoth has sought to give birth to a um, mammoth from uh, that's been genetically engineered a baby mammoth from a living Asian elephant, as I understand it, in Alaska, um, in such a way that the, and maybe by 2026 or 2028, and such that the uh, baby mammoth that is born has had added to it the traits that will make it cold resistant. 
Uh, so it could survive in Alaska as the woolly mammoths did prior to 4,000 years ago because of their, its genetics. And World University and School um, is also exploring how this could work in a realistic virtual Earth. Uh, the thought has crossed my mind to bring a living Asian elephant into Canyon, California, 94516. Uh, in the barn, in the shop of, in Canyon, California, and um, explore uh, coding for it physically, digitally, uh, and to uh, further help develop the de-extinction of the woolly mammoth on the virtual side, specifically in a realistic virtual earth for de-extinction, for aging reversal, for extreme longevity, and aging reversal machine. Agenda item five, uh, WUS longevity genetics and aging reversal genetics and regarding yoga ethics plus um, a set of tweets in these regards for hashtag Olympics, hashtag yoga genetics for performance, higher, faster, stronger athletics and hashtag ethics, if and when hashtag vaccines for hashtag yoga athletes with hashtag WUAS longevity and hashtag WUAS aging reversal, genetic drugs develop and give us younger. For example, at age 150 years old, more supple bodies. How will hashtag yoga ethics work? So this is a brainstorming set of questions as uh, genetic drug therapies come along that might uh, also be developed for higher, faster, stronger athletics in the Olympics where they would be disallowed, I would think, or possibly somehow regulated and regarding a variety of Olympics ethics, um, philosophical ethics, and maybe uh, yoga ethics as well. And this set of tweets regard, retweets um, some yoga ideas that I have pinned to the top of my Quaker Yoga Macflower Twitter feed, Q underscore Yoga Macflower Twitter feed. Uh, and regarding the Desiderata WUAS, uh, a 22 line prose poem, uh, and regarding Peter Norvig's incredible Tulify AI WUAS article, which has a focus on bliss, hashtag WUAS bliss, and check out the Tulify AI article, Revolutionizing Education with Machine Learning and AI. World University in school again, regarding also a realistic virtual earth and regarding a realistic virtual Harvin Hot Springs. And in particular, regarding uh, my hippie Angeli yoga notations, hashtag yoga notations WUS and scottmcleod.com forward slash yoga notations dot HTML, which asks some very initial questions about yoga genetics and athletic and genetics for athletics and. Uh, higher, faster, stronger genetics and related. And uh, especially for the Yoga WUS Wiki School, uh, where we can all explore these questions further, wiki wise, wiki.worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash wiki forward slash yoga with a capital Y. Hashtag friendly Quaker WUAS with a smiley face with three hearts on it. Uh, like kisses, and hashtag WUS abolition, uh, in hashtag realistic virtual earth, hashtag WUS yoga, and a picture of uh, partner work, partner poses, uh, both someone in child's pose and someone doing a supported gentle backbend over the person in child's pose. Agenda item six. Uh, excited to visit, so these, this regards uh, museums in a realistic virtual earth. 
and it's the current paragraph I'm writing in my upcoming Society, Information Technology, and Global University book now uh, to uh, be published in 2025 rather than 2024. So museums, WUAS, hash a set of Twitter feeds, Twitter posts. Excited to visit any or all hashtag museums, WUAS, ever in a hashtag realistic virtual earth with hashtag AI and ML and regarding hashtag Tulify AI WUAS and the article, the incredible article from Peter Norvig. Thanks, hashtag Peter Norvig in G, hashtag G Street View with hashtag G Time Slider, hashtag G Maps, hashtag G Earth with hashtag TensorFlow AI and regarding Wiki, hashtag 3D group buildable virtual worlds and a video I made of the making of virtual Harbin hot springs in 2009, where Lizzie Ha also at UC Berkeley was um, asking some questions in a kind of interview approach in the 3D virtual world of Second Life, the group buildable 3D virtual world. Agenda item 6A. So much of this comes is coming out of the realistic virtual Harbin Hot Springs coding project, for example, in Google Street View with Time Slider, and regarding the group buildable 3D virtual world of Second Life 2, and uh, see this blog post in past years for thinking in images, uh, the Coca Lava Ufifera from October of 2024 blog post. Agenda item seven. Uh, wow, a Googler, hashtag Peter Norvig, question mark, has been building out hashtag realistic virtual Harbin in hashtag G Street View with hashtag G Time Slider. Uh, in two, 2024, there were other two, there were two, there are, there have been two other um, Time Slider years, 2012, sorry, 2012 and 2007. Um, in these regards. Uh, so someone added something new in 2024. Wow, a Googler. This is a set of tweets. Wow, a Googler, hashtag Peter Norvig, question mark, is building out hashtag realistic virtual Harbin in hashtag G Street View with G, hashtag G Time Slider in 2012, hashtag Harbin Gatehouse. And there's a Google Street View URL for that in both blog posts. And 2007, with hashtag vintage fire engine, turn left, and there's a Google URL for that Harbin Gatehouse uh, virtual world access. And new 2024, a hashtag vintage RV, recreational vehicle, uh, and a URL for that Google Street View uh, access. Uh, you can enter into the virtual world of Google Street View with these three URLs and see also how time slider works, see how uh, something might have changed from year to year regarding, for example, a vintage fire engine in 2007. No vintage fire engine over to the left in 2012. And in 2024, a vintage RV and the Harbin Gatehouse. Uh, check it out. Um, this is these are exciting developments um, regarding all of us potentially being able to add to Google Street View. Like I've added some Harbin Gatehouse pictures in the past. One, I think, to Google Street View, uh, and us being able to add video as well for a new theory and method I'm calling in social science and science uh, ethno wiki virtual world graphy as well as potentially Google builds also out a virtual Harbin Hot Springs uh, for um, potentially people to visit. Could they even pay $25 to visit for 24 hours virtually, soak in their home bathtubs while being at a virtual Harbin Hot Springs, uh, while people are presently paying, I think, about $50 to camp out for 
24 hours, Monday through Friday, as I understand it, and $65 to camp out at the actual physical Harbin Hot Springs Thursday, Friday, Saturdays for 24 hours. And uh, in what ways could we do uh, STEAM and STEM research in such a virtual Harbin Hot Springs uh, in the Harbin Warm Pool? And not only at the street view level, um, but also at the cellular level in G cell view and the molecular level, uh, all in Google Street View and dimensionally. Uh, agenda item eight. Um, so excited to announce there's a new Bangladesh, hashtag Bangladesh World University and SCH in Bangla, W U A S, in newly Google Sites sites.google.com forward slash view forward slash BD, world, university, and school forward slash home. And you'll find this in the Twitter, in the blog post from September of 2024 that begins Centarium Era 3i, 3i. So a set of tweets in these regards, friends, hashtag Bangla language perspective, w, hashtag WS students, new hashtag Bangladesh World Univ and SCH in hashtag Bangla, W U A S, and go to the URL. Take the free hashtag CS first, hashtag with Google at hashtag W U A S U N I V S course, CS first with Google, and enroll into World University and School for hashtag MIT OCW centric. Hashtag free WUAS degrees. Posted this also to Facebook and to LinkedIn twice. Uh, check it out. Agenda item nine. Um, thanks, Harvard Graduate School of Education, all. Um, Dr. Shade Harris, uh, thanks for your great GSE. Dear Dr. Shade Harris, who works in the Richmond Public Schools, who has a uh, Harvard, I think, uh, P Ed D or PhD from the Harvard Graduate School of Education too, and who's from Massachusetts originally. Dear Dr. Shade Harris, all thanks for your great Harvard GSE presentation sharing yesterday on Thursday, October 11th, 2024, regarding the quote title of the panel, Innovative Approaches to Family and Community Engagement in schools. Let's stay in touch about Free to Students online accrediting MIT OCW Wiki World University and Schools Bachelor AA, S, IB or similar, and Law, MD, and PhD degrees as they develop and especially growing online family and community engagement in schools at WUS. Set of tweets in these regards uh, regarding the hashtags family engagement, especially and uh, it reads, thanks, hashtag Dr. Shade Harris, hashtag Chief Engagement Officer at hashtag Richmond VA Public Schools for your great hashtag Harvard GSE sharing Thursday 10, 11, 24 regarding innovative approaches to family and community engagement in schools. How best to grow online hashtag family engagement with accrediting Hashtag MIT OCW centric wiki world universe and SCH for free bachelor AA, AS, IB or similar and MA, MS law, MD and PhD degrees. Retweeting a tweet from uh, Richmond Public Schools in Virginia with Dr. Shade Harris in them. So uh, glad to. Um, uh, World University and School may be seeking a chief engagement officer in the future in each of all 200 countries. Uh, the key takeaway, the video for this uh, great panel from the Harvard Graduate School of Education, Innovative Approaches to Family and Community Engagement in Schools, uh, the key takeaways uh, are, uh, and I'll read them here because uh, they're fascinating. They're about caring, they're about loving, they're about building trusting and relationships. Uh, it reads, be intentional about creating and cultivating relationships of 
trust and respect with your students' families. Relationships really matter. Be aware of the history of your school communities, including any past harm that has occurred. Share power, affirm differences, and create sustained engagement strategies that are linked to learning outcomes and motivated by love. Effective family engagement is not just a nice to have practice for schools, it is essential and responsible for many positive outcomes for kids and their learning, including reduced chronic absenteeism. Uh, so uh, this is very relevant for World University and School too, in seeking to retain students for, for example, two-year free AAAS degrees from home, online, and four-year bachelor degrees, uh, just as I think Dr. Shadai Harris is developing strategies at the Richmond Public School to uh, help reduce chronic absenteeism, for example. Agenda item 10, uh, in the last five minutes, um, another Harvard Graduate School of Education talk uh, from Paulina Ha Duong, Brian Yu, uh, Karen uh, Brennan, uh, other people who were in this, maybe 10 people were included, Vicki Sedgwick from the LA area who's passionate about teaching artificial intelligence to K through eight kids, I think, in particular. And just regarding thanks for the block talk yesterday uh, on 1017 2024 uh, I'm going to move on. Uh, there, there's more uh, thinking in these regards about uh, scratch blocks and World University and School, but I'm uh, in these two blog posts, um, but I'm going to move on to the WS Corporation uh, wing, the second of two WUAS wings, uh, which is a for-profit general stock company legal entity in California, the WUS Press, academic press at WS in, planned in, in 7,000. 164 known living languages with machine learning, which maybe we can um, then, uh, which books we publish and then translate, maybe we can pipe through to our WUS educational services stores for books, computers, robotics, hospital technologies, groceries, department stores, retail stores, and similar. So agenda item A uh, on the WS press wing, uh, WS Corp is continuing to seek Chase Bank loans for the flagship physical digital WS educational services stores for robotics books as WS continues to to seek to code for all 7.9 billion people on the planet, each a Wikidata pin number uh, from you at World University, and to distribute Stanford Mind Pi cryptocurrency free money daily to many of the 7.9 billion people on the planet in all 200 countries and to end poverty. Agenda item B. Uh, so this is regarding Bangladesh World University and School uh, and Bangla in the Bangla Bengali language and uh, curated coaching TAP, the acceleration project affiliated with Chase Bank, affiliated with um, Stanford Latino Business Action Network, LBAN. Uh, and regarding um, also, the WS business plan for a startup business and WS educational services stores for books, computers, and robotics, potentially uh, for uh, building out further Bangladesh World University and School. And uh, thank you, Mahadi Hassan in Dhaka, Bangladesh, for facilitating the great beginning bilingual Bangladesh World University and School website in the Bangla language. Um, but not yet in English and newly in Google Sites. And I'm sorry you weren't able to complete, however, 50% of the project by Friday, September 26, 2024 or so, per our written and spoken understandings. Uh, and the English 
sites, Google Sites World University and School website. Um, and perhaps this was due to someone else in your agency or a team member, I don't know, and mostly um, all coming from worlduniversityandschool.org. Uh, in um, this, Mahadi in some ways is, world, is WS's first hire, and uh, we transferred money to him, WS transferred money to him uh, both via PayPal and Remitly from the US to Dhaka, Bangladesh. Uh, and uh, part of the question here in this agenda item two on the WS Press, WS Bookstore, WS Corp side is, uh, could we set up an arrangement with Chase Bank to transfer money um, to pay someone uh, from uh, within the Chase Banking infrastructure that would avoid the fees of PayPal and Remitly, for example? And how would this work? Would Mahdi get a uh, Chase bank account in Bangladesh, where Chase has been had offices since 2010 and had operations since 1971, and then could World University and School um, potentially pay Mahadi Hassan into the future to um, market and out do outreach for um, Bangladesh World University and School in the Bangla language. Uh, to some or all of um, 171 million Bangladeshis, uh, with some 42 languages, I think, spoken in Bangladesh as well. Uh, so um, also, could we set up a WS educational services stores in uh, Bangladesh, where uh, in talking with Google, Gemini AI recently, with a possible parallel situation, is Walmart in Greece? No, Walmart isn't in Greece, uh, Gemini replied. Uh, and to Gemini, I asked, is IKEA in Greece? Yes, they have five stores in four cities. Well, World University and School might be interested in uh, developing WUS educational services stores in Bangladesh, uh, a little bit like IKEA. Um, and would we, could we even use Walmart software? and information technology infrastructure, some of these regards. I'm gonna move forward uh, with much information in the agenda and news in which I'll post in the minutes today uh, in the blog posts. Um, but agenda item C or three on the WS Corp, WS Press side, um, Chase WS brand building blocks from, pre, from pre-worksheets and worksheets um, and coming out of a number of um, building your brand strategy uh, sessions and meetings with Chase Bank, um, curated coaching, TAP, the Acceleration Project Consultants. Um, check it out at uh, the blog post, October 2024, Rocky Mountain National Park, Colorado. Uh, so, Background, what is your product, service, books, computers, robotics, hospital tech, world WS educational services stores, department store products, groceries, pie, cryptocurrency. I just want to read one in particular further. Um, uh, one response to one set of questions um, about our academic values, guiding principles. Uh, what are the guiding principles that drive your business decisions? Inclusion, diversity, equity, and access in a learning environment. Uh, an acronym for this is I-D-E-A-L. Respect the user, respect the opportunity, respect each other. Work should be challenging and the challenge should be fun to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. Durability and innovation. Enterprising creativity, connectedness, and generosity of spirit. Prim primacy of the academic mission, freedom of inquiry, openness of inquiry, educational welfare of students, public trust, process to review, corporate strategy focuses on environment, social and governance regarding transparency and accountability, Quaker spices, simplicity, peace, testimony, integrity, community, quality and stewardship as well. 
Uh, what is your company passionate about? Research and teaching, lifelong learning, wiki teaching and learning, and related community building, highest quality online education emerging from CC4, MIT, OCW, and CC3, Yale, OYC, and CC4, CS First, with Google at WUS, and see Peter Norvig's incredible article. Uh, there are more uh, parts to this agenda item C in the WS Corp wing for today on 10, 19, 2024, check them out in both blog posts. Uh, agenda item C, uh, so, sorry, agenda item D. Uh, it's good for WUAS Corp to have about a 12th Chase Bank curated coaching tap session scheduled for Monday, October 21st, 2024. Again, on building your brand strategy. So that's in two days. And this is uh, happening about uh, a week after I registered for this, and provided that I'm, I can get into this, uh, this may have given Chase Bank more time to develop some steps with regard to possible Chase Bank loans for WUS, possibly building out Bangladesh World University and School, and even transferring money within Chase Bank infrastructure, possibly coding. Uh, for all 7.9 billion people, each a Wikidata PIN number, uh, and for Stanford Mind Pi cryptocurrency and to end poverty. Uh, good to see in some of these regards. Uh, uh, Google Post, I think, on my smartphone with CEO Jamie Dimon yesterday about uh, Chase Bank, uh, it's the largest bank in the USA, leading. Uh, with artificial intelligence developments in the banking industry. And perhaps World University and School can further help here as we potentially collaborate and partner uh, with Chase Bank with operations in 100, and out of, in 100 out of about 200 countries, uh, both with um, our engagement with Creative Commons 4 licensed MIT OpenCourseWare and all the remarkable faculty members there who teach about artificial intelligence and our plans to be in all 7,164 known living languages with artificial intelligence and in a realistic virtual earth with machine learning and artificial intelligence. Uh, so virtual countries, all 200 countries um, as virtual countries, potentially in Google Street View with Time Slider. Uh, in some of these regards. A last agenda item, uh, agenda item E or five. Um, so uh, again, engaging Gemini, artificial intelligence, conversational generative AI. I asked via typing into Gemini on Tuesday, October 15th, 2024. Uh, I think I asked in German first, uh, who are the chief lawyers at hashtag Deutsche Bank? And got a fascinating reply. Uh, fascinating to read. Um, also, Gemini AI's reasoning. And to see the Deutsche Bank website, db.com, and especially how Deutsche Bank is structured and online for one, uh, the, ha the Twitter feed, W-O-R-L-D, U-N-I-V, A-N-D, S-C-H, and for two, the Twitter feed, uh, W-U-A-S-P-R-E-S-S, -S, both planned in 200 countries. Hallo, Gemini, wer sind die Hauptrechtsanwälterin von Deutsche Bank? And Gemini AI replied to this, who are the main Chief, the main lawyers, the chief lawyers at Deutsche Bank, als Sprachmodell kann ich dir keine spezifischen Namen der ha Hauptrechtsanwälte der Deutschen Bank nennen. And read the rest of the reply. Um, so there's a couple of main boards on the Deutsche Bank website with people from Deutsche Bank on them. Uh, rather than listing their main lawyers. And uh, it's fascinating how with all these remarkable technological developments uh, that 
uh, as I see it, as an anthropologist, um, it comes back to people who are making decisions and who are helping to develop these um, technologies, the ar uh, newly artificial intelligence and machine learning, and in the banking world, and as World University and School seeks to code for all 7.9 billion people, possibly with Stanford Mind Pi cryptocurrency, and to end poverty, and potentially uh, with even nations' banks buying cryptocurrency, Stanford Mind Pi cryptocurrency, from the WUS Corporation, uh, listed newly on the possibly Silicon Valley long-term stock exchange, uh, potentially, um, so nation states, banks might buy from the WS Corporation, Stanford Mind Pi, uh, for people in their country, um, even as possibly uh, Chase Bank helps the WUS incorp uh, Corporation develop uh, with uh, uh, information technology and legally in the state of California, the uh, WS Corporation as a legal uh, entity in the state of California as a general stock company, um, potentially to list on the new Silicon Valley long-term stock exchange and maybe multi-list on a stock exchange in each of 200 countries, uh, but also in working with um, the Franchise Tax Board of the state of California in some of these regards too, as uh, the WS Corporation develops. Uh, so that's the um, WS Monthly Business Meeting today, uh, Saturday, October 19th, 2024. Um, just checking to see if anyone else might have sought to join us that I overlooked. Uh, I'm gonna post the video to uh, the main Twitter feeds, twitter.com forward slash W-R-L-D-U-N-I-V-A-N-D-S-C-H and twitter.com forward slash W-U-A-S press, as well as the main YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash uh, videos forward slash Scott McLeod World University and to the minutes today for WS monthly business meeting on 10 19 2024 on both blogs. Uh, scott-mcleod.blogspot.com and worlduniversityandschool.blogspot.com. Uh, Monday is the next WS News and Question and Answer, the 21st, um, at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time, 7.30 p.m. India Time. Please join from your time zone. I'm holding up the URL uh, for World University and School and a main image for it. I'm also holding up a yoga mug uh, and regarding uh, yoga at World University and School as well. Uh, until next time, monthly business meeting is open and on third Saturdays of the month presently at 12 noon um, Eastern time presently. Uh, until next time, see you later. I'm Scott McLeod. WorldUniversityandSchool.org is our uh, MIT Open Courseware centric uh, wiki wing, um, newly uh, beginning in Google Sites and uh, worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash academicpress.html is our WUS educational services stores, WUS press uh, robotics stores, uh, has three Lego robotics kits listed on it presently. Uh, and five books published by the academic press as we seek to build it out both as an academic press and WS educational services or as books for books, computers, robotics, um, hospital technologies, uh, department stores, retail stores, groceries. Uh, until next time, uh, worlduniversityandschool.org. Bye for now. <laughs>